Hello, Mario. All right, we're gonna do more of Luigi's Funny Casino. Yeah, Luigi's Casino is back again, guys. We're doing it. We're doing the thing. We're gambling. We're gambling live on Twitch. And we're gonna get banned. Because gambling's not okay on Twitch. But it's also okay. Because it's not real gambling. So that's the trick. There's some real gambling in there. Except there's not. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I didn't do Toho 8 this morning for a very good reason. And the reason for that is because I was practicing. <laughs> I was practicing playing the game. Because I have to do one CC attempts now. We're kind of at that point where, you know, the fun, the fun, like, brand new part of the game is over and we have to do one cc attempts to beat the game without continuing which is pretty difficult i do have some pre-recorded footage of me um doing a playthrough i got to kaguya i got like about maybe a third of the way into her boss fight i think zeppi sent me some pyra very nice i like what i'm seeing And it's a pretty tricky fight. I mean, it's obviously not going to be easy or anything. So that's what I did. Next time I record Toho, or stream Toho, I mean, probably just going to show off that footage and maybe do something else with it. I don't know. I haven't really decided quite yet. But hey, I mean, I got to hear Kaguya's theme for the first time, so that's pretty dope. I mean, I've probably heard it somewhere, I just don't remember where. Oh, I got the Mario pad! So I haven't really been streaming a whole lot recently, because I've kind of been addicted to editing Mario Kart Wii again, doing the MK Wii mods. Ever since I added the, um... What am I trying to say? Ever since I got my Nan dumped on Dolphin, I've been modding the hell out of Mario Kart Wii a lot recently. And that's been a lot of fun for me. So that's why I haven't been streaming as much. Although, to be honest, it's probably not that noticeable anyways. Nice, nice full house. We're getting some... My luck is very good today, apparently. Maybe I was just having a really bad day yesterday, or whenever the last time recorded this was. Because, boy, do I have a win streak going on here. And the win streak's already gone. I mean, it was gone earlier. Well, that was very close, actually. I also went shopping today. Because I didn't want- I don't like going shopping on the weekend. In case anybody did know. I mean, not, it's not really something you need to know. But I just hate going shopping on the weekends because, you know, that's typically the day that everybody goes shopping. So the problem with that is, um, man, I'm stupid. I can't get my words out properly. It's going to be more crowded in Walmart. So I just like to not go. <laughs> Makes the line makes makes Walmart less crowded. There's less lines. Pretty self-explanatory, really. So I went today because it's Monday. It's time of recording. Monday's a lot better. In fact, I think Monday's probably one of the best days because that's usually the day that people are going back to work or back to school. So they don't have um, the time to go into Walmart and fuck around, you know. So, likewise me, I just go into Walmart and just nab all my shit at, at like 10 in the morning and leave, because technically Walmart's open at like 7 or 8 in the morning, but they're not like open to the public until like, well, what, how do I say it? Like, the Walmart is a part of, it's, it's connected to the mall, 
which means that um, the fr one of the entrances of Walmart, for some reason, doesn't open until 10 a.m. I don't know why. It's very strange. Which is why I usually don't get to the mall until, like, 10 a.m. anyways. Because I'm usually up at, like, 8, and I have to make, like, breakfast and stuff, right? So then, by the time I'm done eating and editing a little bit, um, you know, it's usually, like, 9.40 or 9.50. So then I just make my way over to, uh, the mall, and then, you know, there you go. The mall, the Walmart's open, basically. And the, the funny thing is, when I was coming home from Walmart, there was some guy, um, there was this guy who was, like, trying to cross the street, but he was crossing it, like, how do I explain it? He wasn't crossing the street at a crosswalk, and there was this, there was this guy in a truck, and he noticed this guy was trying to, like, cut past or whatever. And then he started fucking swearing at him, <laughs> and it was hilarious. Oh my god, the same, the same MU again, Mario and Luigi. I was just like walking past and smiling because I was like, "Lol, that guy got yelled at for jaywalking." <laughs> and he sounded, he sounded like one. Oh my god, dude, Luigi, stop doing the same MU. This is boring. This is like a Smash Evo Finals. It's boring to watch. Yeah, I was just smiling because that guy got fucking yelled at, and it was hilarious. I mean, he was like this, like, trucker, so, you know, truckers are typically very violent anyways. Oh! Luigi! Luigi, you can't do that. Thick linguini. Dude, Luigi just got the first flush of the playthrough. He got it before me, that's too bad. But yeah, then I just kind of walked home and I, uh... Yeah, that's basically, it's basically my morning. How should you celebrate your return? Um, I don't know, maybe by playing Smash Universe? Or something like that? I mean, I took a week off from, uh... Secret of Mana this week, so you can move in and all that. So that's one way to move in. Yeah. Nope, that's not a good pair. Speaking of which, I got leader hose and Luigi in Mario Kart Wii now. I think it's just over Mach Bike, but it's still pretty funny. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. That's the best possible full house you can have. But yeah, I was showing Jose, um... I was showing Jose Smash Universe. Again, because there's a turbo mode in the game. It's hidden in Special Brawl. And not a lot of people get to see it. Because nobody ever goes to Special Brawl. But I checked it out. And there's a lot of funny modes you can mess around with in there. So, yeah. I mean, oh, there's turbo. There's, there's turbo, and there's like some other thing. I don't remember what it was though. I'm failing to remember what it is. Wow, lucky win there. So I downloaded this new extension for Brave today. And basically, it turns the text on any website into a different color. It may sound silly, but 
it's honestly really refreshing to see. So, I changed YouTube's color. The text is now pink instead of white. So, I could show a pic- I could show, um, you know, a, a display capture of it. So, um, not that. Uh, here's a good example. Um, like, the pink- all of the text now is pink. And it looks really nice. So, I really like what I did with, you know, Brave here. Makes YouTube look a lot, like, a lot nicer, honestly. So, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to show that off, because I quite like that. Oops, that's the wrong- that's not what I meant to do. Well, <laughs> that was my bad. And yeah, I kind of like messing with, I kind of like messing with those kinds of extensions. Although, um, YouTube's kind of been acting retarded again today. Because for some reason they think one of my, they think one of my, uh, Tamper Monkey scripts is a, what do you call it? They think it violates the, the... They think it's an ad blocker for some reason. I don't know why. It's really weird. <laughs> yeah. The whole reason I switched to Brave was so I could get past that stupid ad block detection shit. But what's weird yeah. is that um also wow, I can't believe Luigi got a better full house than me. What's weird is the entire point of that script that I have, the only thing it does is it lets me download MP3s and MP4s off YouTube. So I don't know why it's getting detected as an ad blocker. It's really weird. <laughs> I personally don't get it. But I mean, sometimes sometimes it won't get detected and sometimes it does. It's very strange. I have like two different versions of the same YouTube downloader. And one of them works more consistently than the other. Although, the thing I don't like about it is that it adds a weird translate button next to comments. And it doesn't really do anything, so it kind of makes the comment section look a little ugly. Which is annoying. But, sometimes I just turn it off, sometimes I have it on. I usually turn it on if I want to just download stuff, like when I'm editing, you know, the usual. Okay, we got a three of a kind, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Uh, I wrote something else down. Oh yeah, right now I'm downloading, um... I'm downloading Lego Harry Potter. Which I know is a very weird thing, because I've never read a single Harry Potter book in my life, and I've never watched the movies. But, Luke thought of this idea that we should continue our Lego games on the channel. We should play more Lego video games, so he suggested we play Lego Harry Potter. And I'm willing to give it a try because, you know, I got into Star Wars because of LEGO Star Wars. So maybe playing LEGO Harry Potter will get me into Harry Potter. If that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, it's, that, it's certainly possible. Yeah, check. Yeah, who's on the receiving end now, bitch? Yeah. I will do- I will keep at my Toho 8 attempts. I'm just really glad that Toho 8 has the spell practice feature, because... Trying to do Kaguya without the spell practice would be so fucking annoying. Because the only way you can fight her is if you can- if you, if you don't use a continue. That's the only way you ever get to see her. And if you do end up using a continue, 
then you just go to Aaron's stage instead, and then the run just gets fucked up. Which is annoying. <laughs> I already said that. I already said, oh, it's annoying. I got to, I got to fight her once, and I did pretty alright for my first attempt, because I had like a third of... I had like a third of my, uh... Like I got a third of her health off, you know? The problem is I kept on fucking up in the boonie stage. For some reason, I just kept dying on, on Raisin's boss fight. I don't know why. Like, I was choking really hard there for some damn reason. I don't get it myself, but... I could have had a much better run if it weren't for that. Like I said, I'll show off me doing that stage. The stage isn't really bad, and there's the, there's another mid-boss against Eren in that stage, and she's slightly harder than she is in her, her normal stage. It's just her spells are stronger. She has this move called Galaxy in a Pot, and I've actually gotten pretty alright at it. I've been able to dodge it consistently. So with that in mind, because of the fact the game has spell practice, that might mean I'm, I'll be able to do um, the extra stage. Because my problem with Toho 6 and 7 is it's really annoying to practice the boss fight since you only get one shot at them. And if you die, you have to do the whole extra stage all over again. So you can't really get any good practice in unless you can get to the boss every time. But I can usually get to the boss, it's just I'll die on like the first or second spell card before I even get to do anything and I can't learn it because it takes so damn long to get back there. <laughs> but Toho 8 fixes that because now I can just practice a spell as many times as I want. So if I ever wanted to fight Moko in Toho 8, I might be able to, honestly. Like, I seriously might be able to. Which would be nice. It would actually make it the first extra stage I could beat in Toho. Apparently there are, like, third-party spell card practices for Toho. Maybe it would be a good time to finally decide to try those out, and then I could maybe try and beat Flandre and, uh fucking Ron and Toho 7. I can finally do that, maybe. Because, <laughs> trust me, I still I still sometimes can't go to sleep because I didn't beat them. <laughs> Which I know sounds very stupid. But, sometimes I just find myself... I, I'm just having second thoughts, because it's like, oh shit, I didn't beat the extra stage boss yet. Like, it's one of the hardest- that's one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in a game, you know? Is frickin' fight those bosses. Like, if I had- if I had the patience and willpower to do all that stuff... I mean, if I could just practice the spell cards, it wouldn't be that bad. So maybe I will get those programs. And then someday we can finally beat Flandre for, um, Toho 6. <laughs> if I ever do manage to do that someday, I'll definitely broadcast that on my Twitch. Because the way I see things going now with Toho is, for one CC attempts, I'm just gonna do it off-screen. I'm gonna record my attempts, and if the run ends up being shit, I'll just scrap it. Also, wow. Four of a kind, right off the bat. Ah, oh, so close to being a flush. So close. I mean, I know it's a 1 in 6, but damn. Maybe I'll be able to sleep better at night if I beat- if I manage to beat Flandre. 
Just maybe. Speaking of Flandre, I replaced Lakitu with Flandre in Mario Kart Wii, which is really funny. So whenever you pass a lab, it's just Flandre holding up a sign, which is really funny. I mean, I don't think they have, I don't think they quite have something like that for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I have, um, I have Sakura Miku, I think, over my Lakitu in that game, which isn't bad either. Uh, but I just haven't been motivated to play Mario Kart 8, mostly because of... Nintendo updating the Switch firmware and breaking homebrew, and also just a general lack of interest, really. I remember I tried to get back into it by joining Mario Kart servers, but they're never at any- I, I never really have the time. I'm usually just in the mood to do my own shit or play with my buddies. I'm never really in the mood to actually just sit down and do a Mario Kart event. I don't know why. But for some reason, I'm, I'm very willing to do Mario Kart Wii modding events. Those are fun somehow. Like Formula Kart Wii. That shit's pretty fun at least. So, yeah. Aw, oh, boo. Boo, Luigi. Boo. You stink. I've been doing much better off keeping two types of cards on the field. It just seems to increase my odds for some reason. Luke was going on about fucking Ermi Kart Wii- or er er Ermi Kart DS today, which is something I want to play <laughs> someday. But honestly, I don't give a shit enough about, you know, his playthrough. Because... I need to play it for myself first. Like, typically, if a game doesn't. If I haven't played a game yet, I typically won't watch it. <laughs> and if it's a game that interests me enough, I might watch it anyways, and then I'll get into it that way. But typically, these days, it's the other way around. Like, if it's a game I feel like I want to play, I'll do it, and I won't watch anybody else play it until I beat it myself. Entirely, usually because of like spoilers and all that stuff. A good example would be like Danganronpa. I wanted to watch. I, I almost ended up watching a playthrough of Danganronpa twice actually, and then I ended up stopping myself partway through. And then now I'm playing through it right now at the time of recording. And same will go for Danganronpa two and three. Except the difference there is that I have not seen any gameplay of DR2 and 3, so those will be brand new to me. And Mario's cheating again. Or Luigi's cheating. Well, he's cheating with four Mario heads. <laughs> That's why I call bullshit. Goods, Luigi. No, don't cheat at the game. I've only gone a four. Of a, I've only gone one four of a kind this episode, Meng. Oh yeah, sure. Give me two linguinis and two stars. That'll do it. Sometimes I wonder how many of my series I should redo. You know, pull a Chuck Conroy, bring back your really old series that you did like 10, 15 years ago, 
Except in my case, it would only be a series that's like four years old. Because <laughs> I can't, I'm not patient enough to wait that long. So like, for example, <laughs> if I wanted to replay something like Persona 5 Royal, now the Persona 5 Royal, that might be a series I'd have, I'd end up waiting like 10 years to replay. Because that is, you know, the first series I ever done. But another thing I could do is replay through Mario 64 DS, the Wario only challenge. Now that's something I could replay through, honestly. I wouldn't mind redoing that as a series. Then again, I'm not sure because, you know, Mario 64 DS is jank as hell. So if I wanted to do it, I'd probably, I'd, I'd rather play it with like the, um, the real analog stick mod. However you get that to work, I don't remember. I know that exists somewhere out there, and I would love to play that. Because that would be the ideal way to play Mario 64 DS. And Luigi's cheating again. I got a full house too, I deserve to win. Can't we just all have a bit of money in this hot luck? I like the word potluck. It's such a fun word. I always I don't really remember what potluck means though off the top of my head. I'm not too sure to be honest. Yeah, and uh, also, uh, Zeppi was bugging me about Toho 7.5 today. And I was just like, nah, man. I want to play it next week. Give me a break. Let me play my funny Luigi game. Well, I didn't tell him I'd be playing Luigi game. I just really wanted to play it today. Because it's almost May. Well, it will be May when this goes up. But since, you know, right now for me, it's almost about to hit May. And since it is about to be May, you know, I want to start a new game, too. You know, I want to play, uh, I want to play Tomodachi Life, if I can get that to run. Hmm. I might, I might pre-record the first episode of Tomodachi Life, though. Just to make sure that it works properly. Because I have no idea, I have no idea if it'll accept the Miis that I imported from my DS. So, I guess we'll see about that. Because for some, I think I already told this, but for some reason it didn't let me import my me, like my main me. I had to make a quote-unquote look-alike, but apparently that look-alike couldn't be the Miis that I imported from my 3DS. So, yeah. The, it was the emulator was being real weird for some reason. I decided I'm gonna use Citra for the for playing Tomodachi because one, it's a game that I want to play relatively common, and two, it'll just look nicer in 1080p instead of a 240p display. Nobody's gonna want to look at that. I hate having to blow that shit up. <laughs> Zach says you saw my Atari Wii stream a bit, yeah. <laughs> he was doing something, I don't know what he was doing. He was just driving around and fucking around with his codes again, as he does. I just went to the stream to show a little support. I'd do that. I, I would do that with Luke as well, but he doesn't stream on Twitch. He does it on YouTube. And he usually pre-records a lot of stuff. So, I'm not usually in the mood to watch it. And plus, I'm not really in the mood to watch Pokemon Random, Pokemon White 2 and Ermikart either. I don't know. Well, we could have had greatness. I've been, I've been feeling a lot better now that I'm not really caring about the star, the 35 star thing on the right. 
I've just kind of given up on that and decided, you know, I'm just going, uh, I'm just going to focus on trying to win and get money <laughs> along the way. That's how I think this game should be played. And if you don't play it that way, then, uh, you're going to get a lot more frustrated. And thankfully, I'm not feeling that frustrated this time. Like, yeah, sure, I'll point out when Luigi's cheating, like right there. But other than that, I don't really mind too much. Another game, some more games I wouldn't mind replaying on the channel would be Mario Galaxy and Mario Sunshine. Because I did a bit of... Mario Sunshine was such a weird-ass playthrough because half of the episodes had my girlfriend in them and the other half didn't. And also the quality was just really shitty because it was 720p. Not even 60 FPS, just 720p because I could not record off my Elgato for shit back then. And I want, I feel like it's doing those games injustice. And plus I was playing with shitty Joy-Cons too. So I was probably complaining, I was probably bitching about the drift off the whole time. So yeah, I, I think it could serve those games justice to replay through them. If I wanted to replay through Mario Sunshine, I'd play Mario Sunburn, which is basically Mario Sunshine, but you can do the shines in any order. And I think it gives like a bunch of quality of life stuff. And then Mario Galaxy, redoing a playthrough of Mario Galaxy all over again, that's easy. And you know the reason why? Because there's the Super Luigi Galaxy portion. Which, uh, I've actually never done Super Luigi Galaxy before, so it would be a little refreshing to play it that way. Even though I have seen a playthrough of Super Luigi Galaxy. I haven't done a playthrough of it myself. So it would be pretty refreshing to do it again. But that's the question. Do I bring my girlfriend with me, or do I just play it myself? That's the difficult question, because... There's so many games I want to play with her and show her, but only so much only so much time I can use to play them, since she's only free once a week. Now, I don't tell her I said this, but I actually wanted to show her Metal Gear Solid. And that's something that we're gonna be- that's the something that I'm gonna be planning to do in May. Because recently we beat Danganronpa Case Five? Yeah. Dang around for case five. So starting some starting up Metal Gear Solid wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Because you know, it's it's okay to take like maybe a week off from playing Dang and Rumpa since K6 hasn't started yet. Well, in my in my, um I mean I I'm, we're about to start the investigation, but that's where all the good shit will happen anyways. Like, we did the little intro section, I guess. But other than that, K6 hasn't really gone anywhere yet. I'm pretty sure K6 is the final case of Danganronpa 1. So, yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. So we're getting pretty close to finishing that game. And Luigi's cheating again. God damn it. You can't just keep pulling four of a kinds, Luigi. It's a stone, Luigi. Oh, well, he's cheating again. But yeah, um... If I remember correctly, I don't think I've ever done a playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 1 on my channel before. So, being able to show her Metal Gear Solid 1 for the first time would be pretty nice. And yeah, I know, Jose and I wanted to do a playthrough of Metal Gear Solid at some point as well. Which, that probably will still happen someday. But, I wanted to do Metal Gear Solid 1 with her, because I wanted to show her how great Metal Gear Solid is. And it kind of lines up pretty well, because uh, I also want to start MGS2 in, um, in May as well, so... That? I'm not sure how that's gonna go. I guess I'll have to see. I 
think uh, I think chat died anyways. Hold on, let me refresh chat. No, there hasn't been anything else on the chat in chat recently. Just checking. Should have bet the Mario. Do the Mario. Is that all the sh is that all the topics that I wrote down? I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, some guy getting yelled at, yelled at for jaywalking, my pink text plugin, and Lego Harry Potter. That's that's about it, really. Not a whole lot there. Oh, three of a kind cloud. That's not bad. Not if Mario. Why would she cheats again, though? Damn it, Linguini. I'm gonna steal all your Linguini. Yeah, the whole win streak thing isn't gonna happen. But hey, maybe someday I'll do. Maybe someday, maybe next summer. Well, it's not summer. It's like timely in the middle of spring, but maybe next spring I could do a full playthrough of Wanted. <laughs> Although Wanted's kind of harder to do commentary for because it's very focus based. So I wouldn't really be able to do good commentary for something like that. Especially because 99% of the time Luigi's the Wanted. And he's almost impossible to find half the damn time. I don't know how I was able to find him so many times on my that little DS screen of mine. But, I don't know, man. You, have, you just have more time to fuck around and find out. Now that I can more- that- that win I can understand. That's- that's a bit more understandable. <laughs> Should I complain again about how bad Reddit is on PC? Because I could also do that. I love- I love getting that in every day, complaining about how bad Reddit is on PC and how much- how surprisingly it's much better on phone, which I don't say about a lot of things. I don't usually say something's better on phone. But, I don't know man, Reddit was so good, it was so good before, and they just fucked up the layout, and now I hate using it. I only ever want to use it on my phone. The only, I, the only time I'll ever use it on the web is to download something that I saved off my phone. But, even then, that's kind of situational, really. And then again, Reddit. Reddit usually doesn't have a lot of good shit anyways half the time. Maybe it's just because I've been in the same damn subreddits for the past few years. But still, not, all, not always does something good come up. Sometimes some moments of silence can be crucial in recordings. I always feel like you have to be talking 24-7 or else you won't be interesting. But I realize that's not always the case. I realize it's okay to be quiet, even for a few seconds. It definitely makes me feel a lot calmer to take a few seconds to think about what I want to say next. Yeah, full house. Now that's that's like that's a that's some competition right there. <laughs> that's exactly what I thought of his stream. So I'm just gonna say I wasn't really paying attention, but it looked like you were using some funny mods. Yeah, your response to that one. You think maybe it'll be possible to get to 5,000 today? Nah, I don't know. I'll see though. I 
did finish another clip of Paper Mario Randall highlights today, though. I'm planning to... I'm planning to go somewhere with that. I'm not sure yet. It's just seeds 5 and 7 are really damn long. Because they're like 7 parts long. Each one is like 40 to 50 minutes. So it's kind of a pain in the butt to edit. I'm just glad that the further I get into Paper Mario Rando highlights, the easier the highlights are going to be. Because they're going to start getting shorter. Like it's going to go, go from like, you know, 7 hours to 5 hours. And then we're eventually going to make it to the 3-hour um, runs that I've been having recently. Or even better, you know, my 2 and a, my two hour 47 playthrough. My best seat ever so far. And I have all the reason to take a break from Paper Mario Randall after a good seed like that. Maybe I'll finally... Maybe I'll finally do another Mario RPG Randall run, because I have not been doing those much. And honestly, I probably chalk... I just probably chalk that up to the fact that... The Mario RPG Randall doesn't get updated much. In fact, it hasn't gotten updated in a long-ass time. I don't know what Pidge is doing, but... She hasn't updated the Rando, so I just haven't been as interested to go back to it. But you know what? Oof. So all the flickering, man. It's really not like does it really not like that downloading? Yeah, not really. You know what? Let's let's go let's pay the Mario let's pay the Mario RPG website a visit, shall we? Let's pay the website a visit, see how it's doing these days. The latest version is still 8.2.10. Yeah, it still hasn't been updated. Again, I don't know what you could update with that. But my point still stands. That I haven't been that interested to do it. And plus, it just makes me wonder, like... How could I get a better record anyways? Because my record in Mario RPG Rando is like 235 or something. And to do to get a record that good, you have to hope that all the bosses you fight have stars. And you know, not go go around for a dumb stupid hunt at the very end to try and find out which star you're missing. Now, the way I play, the way I like to play Mario RPG Rando is, is I like to exclude Bowser's Keep because Bowser's Keep, it has, it, it's really annoying. Bowser's Keep just takes so damn long because if you don't want, if you don't want to miss any key items, you have to go through all six of Bowser's doors. Kind of starting to sound like Mario World here with these, with the Bowser's doors thing. But the problem, yeah, like, that's the problem, though, is I hate going through all of Bowser's doors, because two of the rooms are puzzle rooms. Those are annoying. Two of the other rooms are the bot, the enemy gauntlets, and those are really slow for the rando, which is why I always exclude Bowser's Keep, because most likely you're going to have to go to Bowser's Keep, because Bowser's Keep has, like, three different bosses in it, and in each, any of those bosses could have a star piece. Which is why I hate including it, so I just don't include Bowser's Keep in the run, because it slows the run down by like an hour almost. Or half an hour, it's slow as balls. So that's why I just stopped including it. It doesn't make the run any more interesting, it just makes it more boring and dragged out. So, I always, I always just don't include it. <laughs> And also, I really like including the factory warp, because going through the factory is not fun either. Which is why I'm glad something like Paper Mario has a boss rush for Bowser's Castle. Because... It's never fun to go through Bowser's Castle at the end of the run either, because... The thing about those random- the thing about randomizers is the final dungeon will always be vanilla. Because... When you get to the final dungeon, the final dungeon expects you to have everything. Which means that nothing's gonna be changed about it. And that's why typically a lot of randos... They just... 
don't include the final dungeon, because <laughs> what's so special about doing a dungeon you played a million times with all the items you had? There's nothing fun about that. So that's why it's just best to skip right to the final boss, because at least the final boss, you know, in a, in a run like Paper Mario Rando, or Mario RPG, some runs, you don't get all the items you want. Sometimes you're missing a few good pieces of equipment or badges or whatever. So, it's a nice little final test to see, can you beat the seed with all the bullshit that you've gone across the seed? And that's why I really like fighting Bowser and Smithy at the end of those rando runs. And also, the, I guess the thing about Smithy too is he can also be a little random because he'll have random spells. And occasionally, he'll just have KO. He'll have Knockout and just decide the run. You don't, you're not going to have this run. I wish there was a little option on the website from RPG Rando to exclude the Knockout spell. Like, specifically, just have it make it so that bosses can't have that spell. Because it that spell is really annoying. I love having random spells on, because it makes things more interesting and varied. But having Knockout in there is not fun, because Knockout can really make the run more annoying. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm basically at 4,500. Maybe I'll just stop at 4,700 or 4,750 or something. Yeah, maybe. I'm having fun enough that I could keep going for a little bit longer. We got 13 minutes before uh, I should end the episode. How long does it say- how long does it say it's gonna take before Harry Potter's done downloading? Two hours. Two to three hours, man. Yeah. Well, that's what happens. So look, that's what happens when you download shit off scummy sites. You end up getting those, like, really long download times. It's like when I tried to get a Brawl ROM back in the day, it took like eight hours to download that. <laughs> yeah. And no, this was before we had Vim's Lair and all that. I don't remember where I found my copy of Brawl, but I found it on some weird site. And, um, I don't- obviously I don't think that site exists anymore. Because it's been like five years since then. And people are always like, ooh, where do I get a- where do I get a good Brawl- Brawl ISO at? And I'm just saying, I don't know, man. <laughs> I got a long time ago, before we had shit like Vim's Lair. And actually, I'm pretty sure Vim's Lair got taken down now. Like, I don't think Vim's Lair has- like, they got struck down. Like, they don't have a lot of their ROMs anymore. At least I'm pretty sure. I don't know where he, I don't know what's the popular, you know, Abandonware site right now. But, it's definitely not that, I can tell you that much. <laughs> Speaking of which, game preservation is always such a weird gray area, because some games could be considered abandonware, and some games could be considered legit, and it's really hard to tell. Like, usually if a game, usually if it's like a PC game or something that hasn't been re-released in like 20 or 30 years, usually that's considered abandonware. At least I'm pretty sure. I think that's how that shit works. Like, I don't know. Something like Doom on DOS, that's not Abandonware, because Doom is on every damn console imaginable. <laughs> but something like, I don't know, Ant Simulator, that's probably Abandonware, because I don't think Ant Sim's ever been re-released, if, if I'm going by what Pro Jared said in his video all, that, all those weeks ago. But just speaking of Pro Jared, I'm kind of sad that he ended the Now in the 90s the Now in the 90s show. Because one, Now in the 90s was quotable as shit. And two, it was a genuinely interesting series to watch every Friday. And, you know, unfortunately, it, it just wasn't... Uh, let's just say it wasn't profitable. It wasn't very profitable. So, 
they had to can the show, which is too bad, really. If it was, like, a Patreon-funded show, like, it funded even harder than it is it was already, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of hard to fund shit like that, you know? That's why some stuff just gets cancelled, because they can't make enough money. Man, my win streak is good today. And every time I think I got, every time I think I'm gonna get that flush or four of a kind, it just doesn't happen. And to rub salt in the wound, Luigi got a full house. Yeah, if you think about it, another example of a band where it could be the first few Toho games. Actually, Toho, like, 1 through 8 or 9 could be, like, a band in where. Because I think they only, st I think Zune only started putting, like, Toho 10 and above on Steam. But the rest of them, you can't really get legitimately. Unless you happen to have the CDs from, like, the 90s and 2000s. Dang. I was so close to getting a- I would have- I would have taken the draw, honestly. Thankfully though, since, um, thankfully though, since Mel isn't too demanding, um, I can download- I can download Harry Potter. And also, uh, just enjoy my game. So, thank god for that, am I right? It's the saddest one pair ever. <laughs> Curious to see what Zach will think to my message, because I just straight up told him I wasn't really paying attention. I guess we'll see. Linguini, no, dude. You robbed me. Okay. Yeah, we. I think forty-seven fifty is a great number to end for. Aim for, not end for. I say weird shit sometimes, if you couldn't tell. It's so weird. I remember being- I remember when I was so happy to come back home from school and see Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on my- on my bed. I remember my mom bought it for me on release day. And now, nowadays, like, four years later, I don't know, five years later, I think, has Smash Ultimate really been out for that long? Like, we're like five years later, and I'm just like, ugh, Smash Ultimate. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird to think about. Oh, a game I once was so excited to get is now just a game that I kind of dread. You know, honestly, I bet that's what all of the Smash Ultimate players feel. Or at least the ones that retired. That's probably what they feel. So, uh, I guess I could say I relate to them. Getting to that 4750 if I uh, keep getting two of a kinds and not three of a kinds or two <laughs> two pairs, yeah. not three of a kind. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Whatever. Sad. Nobody came to my stream today except for Jose. Yeah. 
that everybody loved Luigi's Sexy Casino. I mean, sometimes I just think that Twitch is bugging out and not showing me the messages. But if that were the case, I would have seen the messages on my phone. Not like on the Twitch preview. But I don't think I saw that either. So one thing I- one interesting thing I noticed it, um, I, th I think I asked in, like, the first episode, what is the background in the new Super Mario Bros. version? Because it just says Mario 64 DS in this version. But I had a look at what they changed it to, and it's actually a lot cooler, honestly. In new Super Mario Bros., they changed it to, like, a silhouette of Luigi's head on, like, a coin. It's pretty cool, actually. So, I like what they did. I like what they did with it. In fact, I'd argue that icon is a lot cooler. And Luigi's cheating again. Hooray, like, 40 million coins for Luigi now, right? <laughs> See, Luigi is such- Like, Luigi doesn't need to worry about life. Because he's already set for life. He owns a mansion. He owns a casino. He's probably super rich from that casino, by the way. And all of the money that he made from the end of Luigi's Mansion 1, 2, and 3. Like, Luigi is really set for life. Like, if you think about it, I'd argue that Luigi has more in common with Wario than Mario does with Wario. Also, first draw of the episode. Because Luigi and Wario are both all about that mini. The only thing, I mean, I, honestly, the only game where Mario really gets a lot of money that I could think of would be New Super Mario Bros. 2. But I don't know. I, I like to pretend that game isn't canon. Because <laughs> New Super Mario Bros. 2 is dumb. And yet, I almost have the urge to replay it. I have the urge to replay New Super Mario Bros. 2, because it seems like a pretty fun game. Even if it's very generic. Actually, you know, know what I should do instead? No, I shouldn't be- I shouldn't replay New Super Mario Bros. 2. What I should actually do is I should play that ROM hack that got announced. I think it was during a Kaze event, where Kaze showed off a bunch of fan games and ROM hacks. He showed off, um, footage of a new Super Mario Bros. 2 ROM hack, and I was like, whoa, people actually care about that game enough to ROM hack it? And yeah, I was surprised about that, too. And it got me thinking, hmm, what if I had a way of easily playing, uh, 3DS ROM hacks? Well, and besides, I don't really know how- Oh my god, Luigi. You fucking cheating bastard. I don't really know how how hard it is to get 3DS ROM hacks. It's a hard question. I mean, if I could ROM hack Fire Emblem Awakening, I would totally do that. Okay, we are not getting the 4700 today. I think we're gonna save that for next time. Okay, I tell you what, if I lose again, I'm probably just gonna end it today. Okay, that, that hand looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't think we're winning that one. Okay. I'll end it on that, because I, I don't know. I'm getting kind of tired of this of Luigi's bullshit. Alright. It'll, it'll save, right? Okay, you know, 4,500. We'll end it on that. That's not a bad thing to end it off on. Okay, well, thanks, guys, for watching Luigi's Picture Poker. That was fun. We got to talk about some nice things. So, make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. And I will see everybody in the next episode of Luigi's Funny Sexy Casino.